Oh God. Back to our stupid reaction, Stephen Sub Corbin. I'm ready for some new stuff. Turn on our juicy content. Thank you so much for your patrons. Don't forget to comment below with your notification squad. Fun. Shame. Fun with someone personally. You do Shame. Things right down there. Dare ya. Dare ya. And today, boys and girls. Dun 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 dun. Yeah, why not? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if that fits. Uh, yeah. We've watched our 100th Indian film. One hundred! We're making our mark. That's more than all of you combined. Yeah. Yeah. Nobody yeah. has ever seen a hundred Indian films. Never. Ever. Anyone in the history of the world. We are the first ones to do it. Yep. You're welcome. Uh, <laughs> anyways. Uh, but for the hundredth film, we wanted to do something, uh, I don't know if it's special, but like more camaraderie of the Indian film industry. Right. Celebratory of it, which was why we chose To Whom Three. Yes, exactly. Uh, which we should have done. Student of the Year 2. Student of the Year 2, yeah, yeah of course. Yeah. And classic, and then Kalunk. Yeah. Uh, what right a trifecta that would have been. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> uh, we watched, uh, I believe it was our third Marathi film. You are correct in that uh, assumption. It was Sa Sairat, uh, Natsamrat, and then now Hasha Karshanashani Factory. Corbin Eisen. <laughs> I'm not even going to try that. Can you no, pronounce that? No, I can try. I'm guessing it's Harashandrachi Factory. And did they say it was like a, a curse word? Like a cuss word? Harashandrachi? No, because they kept calling it like a... Or did, were they using a different word for the guy? Yeah, no. I, I thought they kept calling him that. Calling him that? Yeah, they called one of the people that because he was portraying that character. He was portraying... How is no, it something was like a curse, but anyways. Yeah. Uh, but anyways, uh, yeah, so uh, it's a Marathi film that came out, I believe it was in 2009. Yes. Uh, starring, I uh, say, uh, Nandu Madhav. Mm -hmm. And uh, as Saraswati, it was, Vib uh, I want to pronounce her name right, uh, Vibhwari Deshpande. Okay. And it's about the uh, 1913 Indian cinema uh, industry. So yes. started by this specifically gentleman. Falke, is that how you pronounce his name properly? Is it Falke or Falk? Uh, but the man who is the father of Indian cinema. Uh, and directed and written by Paresh Mukashi. So uh, this will be a spoiler review. If you haven't watched it, it's on Netflix currently, at least for the United States. It's also only an hour and a half, which I was shocked that it was an hour and a half when I, because I, I was like, okay, it's something like this. This is going to be two and a half, three hours. That's what right, I thought. Right, right. Ended up being an hour and a half. So it's yeah. a quick watch. Um, so if you haven't, go watch it, come back. And then, unless you'd like to be spoiled, like a naughty little, not a little boy, not a little girl. Because we're going to spoil you. Yep. Here we go. Everyone died. Wasn't that sad? Yeah. When everybody died. It's true. And the film industry never started. And that was it. The rest is history. <laughs> Anyways, Rick, uh, initial thoughts. Do you have a paragraph at all or no? I have one word. Yes. Benod. Yes, that's right. Good night, everybody. Goodbye. See you later, everyone. Good night. Bye. Thanks for joining us. When old people figure out internet. <laughs> Wee! So, to be serious... I really do have one word that yeah. just you repeat over and over and over and over again for this. Yes. Love, 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 love. One of my favorite films we've watched. Really? Yes. Interesting. Love, love, love. I wouldn't. I wouldn't say that. I did enjoy it a lot. I love it. I was. I was groaning for the first about five minutes because I didn't fully understand, and then I fully understood. Gotcha. Um. Because obviously, because they were doing the, the some of the over-the-top kind of stuff, and then also, they were doing, and I, it was on purpose, if it wasn't, it was, a, it was a great coincidence, but I'm pretty darn sure it was on purpose, they made a lot of it very Chaplin-style, you got it, um, acting, and, and, and all that kind of stuff. Yes. And so once I figured that out about five minutes in, I was like, okay, that's what we're doing. Yeah. And then I actually really, really enjoyed it. I actually thought it was a really oh. sweet, endearing, especially the, the main guy. Uh, uh, Na Nadu, is that how you pronounce his name? Yeah, Nandu. Yeah, Nandu Madhav. I thought he was great. Yep. I thought he did a fantastic job, especially making you care for him. Um, and it, I thought the director blended 
that weird style, because it was stylized. This is a stylized film because they were trying to make it, they were making a film about that time, but making the film that is telling you about that time like a film of that time. Correct. Which, not easy. Not an easy thing to accomplish. Not at, easy. Not at they all. They even did some of the speeding up things oh, and, and, and slowing down. Yep. And so I thought it was really, really interesting. I liked it a lot. Uh, I... I I wouldn't say I love, love, love. Oh, I, I love actually, it. in terms of the Marathi films, um, I still like Syrat more. Okay. But this would probably be my second uh, it, over Knots and Run. And I, this is one of those where I, I, if somebody doesn't love it as much as I did, that's okay. It's there's you know there's films that I love that if someone else doesn't love it, I get really upset. I'm like, mm -hmm. how can you not love that film? Like Doom Three. Exactly. And I, I, this one, I would love for everyone to love it. But if I'm the only one that does, that's okay I with me. I think if you get people to understand it. Like, yeah, and, and I have to, admittedly, if you're, if you're not somebody who just adores old cinema. old cinema and the history of film, and just to see the old cameras being used, yeah. and, and watching that, and watching people at being teleported to when people were first seeing motion pictures, it makes me emotional. Mm -hmm. um, so the content and the subject matter in and of itself had me. Just like, I love the movie Hugo mm -hmm. because it's Martin Scorsese's love letter to the making of movies. Is it three hours long? Like, Two and a half? I love Hugo. <laughs> oh, I just love Hugo. <laughs> Scorsese and I, can never do anything I, short. I, I really love everything about this, even to the point I would have been upset if the white guys were good. I was so happy the white guys were bad because it made it exactly what it needed to be. Now, here's the other thing I love about the movie that I don't know if it's, uh, I don't know the historical accuracy in terms of particularly um, Falke's uh, personality. Mm -hmm. I hope the depiction that we got from Nandu, that he did his homework and based on what we know of the man, as well as uh, uh, Vip, um, the girl, yeah, who played Saraswati. Mm -hmm. If that was really, I'm praying it is. If that was really the personality traits of the two of them, mm -hmm. that guy 100% is the Charlie Chaplin of Indian cinema. But even more so because Chaplin was the innovator of film. He didn't invent it, mm -hmm. but he was the one who who basically did stuff with film no one else had ever done before, and he had. The same level, and it's crazy to say this, it's the same reason you say something like to people like, she has the same charisma as Lucille Ball. It's like, come on, really? He had the same kind of spirit, the actor and the character of a yeah, Charlie Chaplin. I was wondering if that was him or if he was just taking right. inspiration from Chaplin. Himself. Right. Either way, yeah. that's great. If he didn't know definitively that this, was, this guy was that way, mm -hmm. that's the perfect person to borrow for an innovator of cinema as your personification of the character. Mm -hmm. I, I love their relationship. I love that she, and I do know this is true. Uh, I, I remember reading that they sold everything and it poured themselves into it and pretty much died penniless because this is just what they both wanted to do. And, and the fact that, and I'm hoping it's true, is that at the end when you know he turned down all the money to go mm -hmm. come to London, yeah. he's like, I want to develop the... And so I'm this guessing that's, that's well. I don't know if that situation is true, right? But I'm obviously I'm guessing it is true because obviously he did start the industry. He did, here. yeah. Um, I just love this. It's really sad though if he he died penniless. <sighs> it doesn't does make me sad because they just like Charlie Chaplin and his his wife in modern times. There's this moment. There's all this striving that's going on in modern times, and Chaplin and his girl are in the shack and they have nothing. And they just eat a piece of bread with ham in the middle. And they're so happy. And it's when they go to try to pursue what everyone else is doing and compete with the Joneses and try to, you know, do what everyone else is doing that they start to lose sight of what really matters to them. And then when they have nothing again, mm -hmm. they're happy. So that, the whole time for them, the only thing money was was a resource yeah. to fund what they felt passionate about doing together. And so, yeah, if they died penniless, if they died doing what they loved, happy, happy for I them. thought the director did a phenomenal job. One, 
it was really interesting because most, a lot of it, there's almost no score behind it. I don't know if you noticed that. A lot of it was oh, like, but, it's like talking, like you're, you're talking, talk, talk. There's no score, but then obviously it would come on. It came on and, during the fast motion points. Yeah. And I thought it was flipping magnificent. Mm -hmm. All of the strings, but you're correct. Yeah. Any time other than the fast motion stuff, which there was a lot of, yeah. there wasn't a score. Yeah. yeah. And it was also very funny. <laughs> Very funny. <laughs> that was a very funny film. Very funny film. Um, like, especially, obviously, when they were trying to get all the, the actors to, you know, do <laughs> what they need to do. Like, I love Be the Women, which is actually yes. historically accurate. Yeah. Yeah. One for Shakespeare, yep. uh, as we know. Uh, but then an the early film. I love uh, when the priest shows up and he's there to help them out and he doesn't know what's going on. And so there's the guy who's up on the thing just sitting there and they're like... And then there's the guy... <laughs> passed out on the front and it's a man dressed as a I freaking love this movie. And then uh when <sighs> when they went out, um, which was a hilarious one to watch that, you know, when they went out to set, right? Before they got arrested. Um but they were all in costume. Yes. And the fact that all the actors were bringing and, and then they do it for they put on the show and the officers he's like excited and he's watching. I I genuinely love this movie so much that I'm like, there's several films that we've watched that obviously we've had like our top 10, yeah. and then I put them in my favorite films of all time, which I have almost 400 in that list. I'm putting that in the list because this is something I would go back to over and over. This is a film I would want my kids to see and Evie to see in terms of you need to know the story behind how Indian cinema got started. <laughs> uh, and that's the only question I have is the historical accuracy and if they did justice to it and if they really captured the spirit of the man and his wife. And if they did, they knocked it out of the park. I, I just loved it. Yeah, um, I thought it was... <laughs> I, thought it was really, I was actually talking to Steph because she watched it with me. Um, I, when they were watching the the plant which uh, which is great if that's yeah. if he kind of almost invented that in terms of as people in india seeing like stop motion basically yeah 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 um but when the audience was watching i, I said i was i wish i could go back to the time where i knew nothing about cinema and yeah. that would be impressive to me right because <laughs> obviously we've changed and we have yeah. avengers now <laughs> like exactly <laughs> in in just a little over like 120 years like not a long period of time and we have the avengers looking Right, like more than realistic. Exactly. <laughs> and I, the first, you know, the old adage story is one of the first motion pictures ever seen by people here in, in the United States was a train coming at the screen and people actually screamed and got up and ran because they thought a train was coming from the other side of the screen, of the thing that was hanging oh, really? out. Yeah, uh, which is hard to believe now, mm. but yeah, I would so, and I thought they did a beautiful job uh, capturing that. I thought the people watching the films and the, the excitement that was there, and I just, uh, most especially, I love the relationship between him and his wife, and how everything they did, you know, they'd reach rock bottom, and they're like, what are we gonna do? We'll figure it out, and then when they've got enough to live on for the next few months, they're like, we're taken care of, we're good, we're happy, and, they have a happy family. And I, I do wanna applaud the director, because like I told you in the beginning, I assumed this film would be two and a half, three hours. <sighs> the fact that he cut this up, and made it basically an hour and a half, which is, so digestible for anybody. Anybody. And it doesn't feel like, not, it feels like an hour. Yeah. When it ends, you're like, oh, we're done. Yeah, he really made it, I mean, he could have even made it longer. He could have. <laughs> and that's rare for yeah. us to say. Yeah. He could have added 15, 20 minutes. Yeah. Easy. Uh, but I want to applaud him for doing it, not doing it, because that's hard for a lot of directors to cut their own stuff. <coughs> yeah. Martin Scorsese. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Poor Marty. I love Martin Scorsese. We do. He's a one of the best Come directors on. ever. He's got but the right to do whatever he wants. He also, he hates cutting anything it's true. from his film. It's true. And that's why all of them are three to three and a half hours. Now, the older he's gotten, he's gotten this, I don't give a crap. And he, why should he? He's Martin Scorsese. So yeah. he's like, I'm going to make whatever thing I want to make. And if you don't watch it, I don't care. Because so, I wanted to make it. Uh, I want to applaud the director. I thought the director did a phenomenal job. Mm -hmm. uh, per, say his name again. Uh, Paresh Mukashi. And the score... I, I, over and over again, when they did the fast motion parts, uh, which really helped because we didn't get to hear a lot of the white actors talk, um, <laughs> I thought the music was absolutely spectacular. Mm -hmm. Just so, so good. Um, 
So, so that was great. It was good, to, good one to have at a hundred. It's always great when you have like a milestone, and you know, it's a good film. <laughs> I was thinking that when we started watching, like, I really hope this doesn't suck. <laughs> <laughs> the hundredth film we picked, yeah, that's crap. No, it was good. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, let us know the next Marathi film. Uh, we want to watch more, 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 more of every single region. Um, but Marathi is our third one, so we need more. Um, I think Court is one, because that's Nawaz. He said that's his favorite. Indian oh, that's film. right. Yeah. Um, and that's a Marathi film, and I've heard a lot about that. We've watched a trailer for it. And also, uh, from this actor, I thought it was really, really good. He did a great uh, job. I'd like to see him and the director as well. Yes. Uh, and her. And her. I really, really liked her character oh, she's in and her portrayal. Hold on. Hold on. She was in Sacred Games. What the sh- what the schnit? How did we not? She must have had a small part, unless we're just. Hold on. Did she play VJ Ross? <laughs> he was not in Sacred Games. How do you know? Hold on. It's like, where's Waldo? Because we miss him constantly. Oh! That was her? When she, uh, Nawaz, uh, had sex yes. with her. And when he, well, he was trying. Yeah, 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 he was trying to have sex with her. Wow. So she's actually in a lot of Hindi cinema, and she was really good in that, too. Obviously, she it was, was just fantastic. a small part. Yeah, but she was solid. Uh, but she did a, a really, really good job. She's in Commando 3. She's in uh, oh, Section 375. So she's actually uh, looks like a, a working actor. Uh, let me see. Yeah, that's, that's funny. Quite a, quite a lot on her resume. That's funny that we uh, choose at Sacred Games, and we had no idea. But we're dumb. Yep. Uh, so, you know, that's what happens when but, you're dumb. But it actually does work because we started off, I had the one word, and, and that one word, that that actually means happiness. It means happy. It's a name, but the name actually translates to, so uh, it did make me happy. Old people ruin the internet. <laughs>